Good evening. Welcome to another episode of Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. Tonight I have for your uh, viewing pleasure an Argentinian 100 pesos. Before I start, though, I want to thank my listeners for signing up and sharing and liking my page. I now have more than 100 subscribers and I now have more than 50 videos for your pleasure. I'm hoping you'll keep sharing and recommending and persuading your friends to enjoy my didactic numismatic channel. <laughs> Let's get back to the note at hand tonight. This is a nice colorful banknote. It is uh, primarily violet but there are numerous other colors that make up the design. It is measuring 155 by 65 millimeters and although it doesn't have a date it was issued for a specific reason and then it just continued to be issued. Uh, the bank notebook does not have a designation for this note because they don't have their Argentinian uh, book published but Pick and Krause Publications call this a 358. I used Wikipedia as another source for um, information on this note, which was um, issued originally for the 60th anniversary of her death, which would pin the original issuance of this note at 2012. On the front of the note, we see Eva Perón, um, Maria Eva Duarte de Perón appears on the right end of this note, and she also appears as a face-on watermark at the left end of the note. Uh, this note was based on an unused 5 peso design of 1952. It was an issue due uh, in part to the coup d'etat that deposed her husband. Maria, or Eva Perón, was born on May 7, 1919, and she died on July 26, 1952. She was Argentina's first lady from 1946 until her death. She was, interestingly enough, the very first Argentinian to undergo chemotherapy. Chemotherapy. She was a saint to some and a witch to others. It was uh, assumed that her husband was afraid of her popularity. On the back, we have an allegorical depiction of women and children. I believe it's called the Arapaches. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. I am not Latin or Roman, so... Please feel free to correct me. This is a carving off of the altar of Augustan Peace. The panel shown is the Tellus panel. Some claim that the depicted goddess is that of Italia, or Tellus, or Nemes, which means peace. The most popular hope is that it is peace. Um, let's go back to some of the uh, uh, security measures on this note. We have... Uh, scales of justice here as an offset offset registration. When this is held up to the light, the um, front and the back will line up and fully fully color in the scales. Down here, we also have color shifting ink, and you can see the color bar move up and down the note as it is angled. We saw this feature on a note of China recently. A pretty significant security thread or foil appears right here with Eva Perone's face on it and initials for the central bank. Uh, earlier issues of this note don't necessarily have this or they have a thread that's thinner or located somewhere else in the note. Um, here is where you would see the face on image of Eva Perone. We have vertical serial numbers here to the left and we have horizontal um, numbers over here to the right that increase over here as you go from left to right. There is a uh, beautiful patterning in the underprint. And I especially like the underprint on this side because it kind of looks like, uh, the whole thing is woven of cloth. And I'm assuming this is a rose and it's the kind of thing where if I back up and look at it, it looks a little bit better. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to go with rose. It could be a tissue, but <laughs> I'm going to go with rose. This is a beautiful note, and I would think that a collector of anything South American, a collector of first ladies, actresses, chemotherapy, morbidity, or altars, or Roman statues would want this banknote for their collection. Please click on the circle to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. Share 
I do this for fun, but it is educational. Do you know any teachers that need help with things for their students to do while they're homeschooling during this corona crisis? Share this channel with them. Uh, do you know any students that have just started the hobby? Maybe this will be of interest to them as well. Now that I've reached 100, I'm hoping to get to 200. Thank you all for your help. I am Benjamin. Have a jewel of a day.